तो जी लेट स्टार्ट विद डाउनलोड एंड कन्फिगरिंग ऑफ इक्लिप्स लेटेस्ट एडिटर सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू डू इज यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट डाउनलोड इक्लिप्स इन योर ब्राउजर एंड देन जस्ट एंटर वट यू विल सी यू विल सी द इक्लिप्स वेबसाइट एट द टॉप so simply click over eclipse download and then you will see this uh, screen so here you can see get eclipse id 202109 and there is no any other option available it automatically detects your operating system so what operating system i am using i am using windows 10 so what i will do i will simply down click this button download x88 8664 and uh, the next step that the next window that will show up would be the download and it is going to be download from korea and with this uh, file name eclipse.exe something so simply click over the download there is no need to go here and there there is the donation if you have this capacity then you can donate it otherwise you can just skip this because downloading is now started uh, at the bottom left corner of your browser and we are waiting so what we can do i can stop the video and when it will be downloaded then i will come again so let's stop it so now you can see now it is downloaded so just click over it and uh, it will be open because it is an exe file it's processing playing this screen eclipse installer <clears throat> so after in uh, downloading the installer now after that screen this screen is being displayed and you can see different options here just a moment again it is resize so what i am i want to display all the options so the first one is eclipse id for java developer this is for standard developer standard development kit and uh, if you uh, want to go with the enterprise edition because the course that we have continued in our class is enterprise application development so what we have to do we have to download this second version i eclipse ide for enterprise java and web developers the, there are other support for other programming languages like c++ php and maybe the python somewhere so you can download and see the other options if you want but the relevant option for us is enterprise java and web applications the second one so click over it and just click over the install and then now accept now and it is now being in, in installed and we have to wait now so during installation i can explain some things that java 11 plus its virtual machine is uh, being installed along with this uh, eclipse release and uh, this is the folder in which this uh, eclipse is going to be installed c users and then hp and then eclipse and then we have this uh, directory somewhere and it is also creating a start menu entry uh, menu entry in the program files maybe and then uh it will also create a shortcut on the desktop for our easiness so just waiting for its complete 
installation and then we will start again. So this is the screen. It appears when the installation will be completed. So you can see that there is a launch button and then after that show readme file operating system explorer and keep installer like that so what is the next step next step is that start menu icon is created as you can see here at the top and uh, uh, start menu would be there in program files and the desktop icon would is here at the at the top so the next step is simply you can click on this launch button and the Eclipse uh, will start to execute its launching. So after that screen, this will be displayed and there is a message select directory as a workspace. So So if you want to create a Eclipse workspace directory, that will be a folder like thing in which you can develop your uh, programs. I'm talking about Java, so, so that's why you can have Java and JSP and other things uh, in that uh, folder Eclipse workspace. So I am saying that use this as a default and do not ask me again, because that would be a folder. So it is not necessary. You can create your own folder, whatever you want. But I am using this Eclipse workspace so that in future I can remember that uh, by using Eclipse, where I have, where are my programs which I had created. So that's the reason that I am using this Eclipse workspace directory as it is. So <clears throat> now you can see. So I am waiting that it will start its execution. So after that screen, this screen will be displayed with different options like review ID configuration setting, create a new Java web project and so on. So this is basically a tutorial for your guidance, but uh, I don't want to see this tutorial. So I will simply click on this hide button here on the top right side. So simply click, click over it and then you will have this screen. So I don't want to donate anything, so I want to close it. And then, then the outline that there is no active editor that provides uh, something like that. So I also want to close it. Task click, I also want to close it. And now I can see this window. I can maximize it for a better view. So this is basically the portion in which you can write your program, but now it's not enabled yet because I have not created any project yet. And this would this is the, uh, here I will see my output. Okay, there are options here, create Maven, Java, EE, and so on. I don't need it. So what I will do, I will, I will simply close it. And then after that, I will click on this file menu. Uh, now click on the new and this Eclipse I have installed just to run the Java. So, so what I can do first, I have to build a directory. So that's why I, I can simply click it on new and then the project. I'm not telling this Eclipse that either I am going to build a Java project actor, but uh, some other file, a simply simple generally project. So uh, select a wizard. So I like that type filter. I don't want to wizard for what? So this is Java project. Okay, click next. 
and then here it is asking the project name so this is basically the name for your directory that it will use uh, are the project that for a single project for example if i am going to build some project like online sale purchase system for some company then i have to write some short name for that project but what i am i am in i am a teacher so i am now creating a, a project name in which i can store my java standalone programs and java web based programs so what i can name it i can simply name it uh, sorry um, j programs which means java programs it will have two kinds uh, java programs and jsp programs so standard edition sc is going to be used in the beginning it was java 17 but basically there is no java we can update java 17 later on it is an easy task maybe i will do it in another video but here i'm not uh, touching any option of it and i can keep it as default what is the next thing so just click on this finish button after giving a name and other so create a module info so what i can say i can say don't create any modules simply so don't create any module just click over it open the java perspective uh, this perspective is designed to support java development it offers a package explorer like that. Okay, remember my decision, open perspective. Uh, Java project, mm, this perspective is another perspective. Uh, so at the moment, I don't want to create any perspective yet. So, so if you click on the open java perspective option then this window will be displayed like that that on the left hand side you will have uh, the j program the directory that you have created if for the for the moment i am closing all these things and if uh, you didn't click on the open java perspective option which was uh, appeared a little uh, a little moment ago so then what you can do we can simply click over the, this is java ee and this is java so click over it uh, and then you will have your perspective soon uh, just these are the options so what you can do to open perspective just click over it and click java here and then click open uh, and again Uh, just a moment. So uh, either you can open the Java perspective in that step or if it is closed like I have done, then you can click simply over this perspective and then click over um, Java and then open and then you will have your windows back or you can just hit and try on different buttons, especially here in this help menu, oh, sorry, in Windows menu, and then perspective, and then open spectrum, perspectives, and like that. Other, this option is also available there. So you have the Java, Java browsing, and Java double E options here. Click over anyone and click open, then you can have your Windows back. So this is basically the uh, project folder that you have created in the beginning. And now whatever, what now you have to do, so you simply have to click over it, then you have the source, click over, right click over this source, right click, and then you have the new option. And now what we are going to do, we are going to build a simple Java program. So what I can do, I can simply click on this class and then just give a name to this class. So the name of this class is hello world. So, uh, I am going with the Java convention. So first name is small, second name is the bigger one, hello world. And then we want the main function, public static void main function in our this class. So I just click, clicked over it and then just clicking finish. 
after clicking finish over it. So this is something I already attempted. So leave this simple dot Java. You will not see this simple dot Java in your um, uh, in your project. So I am just deleting it so that it will not uh, give you a little bit tension. So this is the auto source code generated here. And how can I check it? So this is the hello world, the name that you have given to this class in the wizard. And after it, I just press enter, then system, S is capital, system dot, uh, uh, sorry, system dot out dot println, double quotes, hello world, and then go to the end of the line, put a stay, semicolon here, and then you can see there is no any red line here. So just save it by pressing control S, and then click this button here. And we are ready to see our output here on the downside and hello world is there. Why it is displaying? Because Java 17, not 17, Java uh, 16 basically, SC16 is already installed with this Eclipse. So if you want to do programming with this Eclipse, then, then uh, Java 16 is already there. We can also update Java 17 here by downloading file from there and just giving that file to this IDE. And then we will go with the 17. I will uh, create another uh, tutorial for this one. But, uh, but at the moment, this is your now Eclipse running fine with the standalone Java. For JSP, you have to download Tomcat and then you have to configure it with this Eclipse. Uh, and then you, uh, and this, and there is no any connection with the MySQL also. So I will also uh, generate another video for this one. Thank you very much. Uh, and this is the end of my tutorial.